Hi, Brian Farina, producer at Victory Games, working on Command & Conquer. I mean, there's a little bit of confusion over what, what the plans are with Command & Conquer. We, we announced that we were going free-to-play and haven't really followed that up with a tremendous amount of information, which has let people kind of let their minds go crazy with you know all of the things that that could possibly mean. The, the main thrust of what we want to do in terms of the monetization side, without going into uh, too many details, there's three main areas that we're looking to monetize with Command & Conquer. There's gameplay, there's customization, and there's convenience. So with gameplay, we're looking at you know gameplay differentiation and this is an area where, you know, for example, we might do different generals, or we could do uh, potentially different units, different player powers. There's a whole <laughs> gamut of things in the game for us to, to explore here. The main idea in the game is that there's uh, two currencies. This is a fairly standard in the free-to-play space now. So there's uh, an earned currency that you earn by playing the game, and there's a paid currency that you earn by using real money. So for all of the gameplay related aspects of the game, we want all of those to be available through the earned currency, uh, not just the paid currency. So the goal obviously is to not be pay to win because it, you can't have a competitive based strategy game with it also being pay to win. It sort of defeats the purpose of, of having that style of game. Uh, where you might find more of the real money options is in customization and convenience where customization is the ability for you to customize the, you know, the different gameplay elements that you have. So uh, different skins or voices for the generals, different uh, unit skins or appearances. Uh, the convenience is the, you know, traditionally what we, we look at is basically trading money for time. So where you can use those to get boosts to speed up the gain of earned credits or to the gain of, you know, profile EXP or what have you. So, so single-player campaign, we, we won't have uh, at the release later this year. Uh, there's a, a number of reasons, but the main one is that we're still refining the, the gameplay of the three factions of all of the units, of, of all the stuff going on, and it's very difficult to work on you know, a high-quality campaign where the foundational aspect of that campaign, which is the interaction of, of the units, isn't finished. You constantly having to go back and, and redo all that work. So from a quality perspective, we have to nail the actual faction and unit design before we can really move on to creating the, the single player experience. And then you know, that single player experience, obviously people are gonna want it done to quality and they're gonna want an amount of it that's more than one mission. So there's a little bit of time involved in, in producing all of that. So again, it's something we, we very much are eager to tackle, but it's gonna happen post the release later, later this year. Yeah, if you're looking to get more information or want to sign up for the beta, please visit us at commandandconquer.com.